Baseball's greatest rivalry revs up this weekend for the first time as the Red Sox visit the Yankees for a four-game series in the Bronx. I'll give you a preview of what to expect. So as the Red Sox and Yankees get ready for their first series of the year this weekend at Yankee Stadium, both teams come in and it's very interesting where they are right now this early in the season. And I'd say both teams are kind of struggling to find their identities as teams early in the season. For the Red Sox, they've really struggled early in the season because they just haven't been able to put it all together. They have not hit with runners in scoring position. Their pitching, besides John Lester and John Lackey, and to some degree Jake Peavy, has been very erratic in the starting rotation. Their bullpen's been pretty good, with the exception of Edward Mujica, who I think is kind of going through the motions, trying to adjust to the American League and what's going on there. He's been hammered in a couple of starts. And as I mentioned, the Red Sox hitting has been very inconsistent. They have not hit with runners in scoring position. They've left a ton of men on base, and they've hit into a ton of double plays. So they've been very uneven so far. They've had a bad record at home after a very good opening series in Baltimore where they won two out of three against the Orioles. And for the Yankees, they're kind of in the same boat as the Red Sox, floating around that 500 mark. They've had some major injuries, though, on their team with David Robertson going down with a groin injury, their closer. There's not much certainty as to what they're going to do in this bullpen behind Robertson as far as closing games. And, of course, losing Mark Teixeira at first base to injury, that's a big blow for the Yankees, whose infield has already been very shaky. You know, losing Robbie Cano, Jeter's 39 years old, really having no answer over at third base. And now the Yankees kind of have to mix and match at first base as well with Teixeira out. And I think that's really going to affect their lineup. So this is going to be a very interesting four-game series. Interestingly, Masahiro Tanaka, the Yankees' big pitching star that they brought over from Japan this season, will not pitch in this series as he pitched the final game of the series against the Orioles. So the Red Sox will not see him, but they will see the other four pitchers. And, you know, for the Yanks, CC's kind of been up and down out of the gate. Ivan Nova's been very shaky out of the gate. But they've had great performances from Michael Pineda, who pitched in Game 1 against Clay Buckholz, who's really struggled for the Red Sox. So as you look at this series, it's really just a mixed bag. And it's going to be very interesting to see what facing each other is going to do for these teams. I think that the Sox and Yanks getting together this weekend for four games is really going to focus both teams because if you looked at the Red Sox play this year they looked a lot more focused against the Orioles than they have against either the Brewers or the Texas Rangers same thing for the Yankees looking with better focus against the Blue Jays and the Orioles they did not play well against the Astros in the opening series of the season so I think that this weekend both teams are going to get it back on track if you'd have to think they're going to split the series unless something weird happens as they're kind of feeling each other out right now. Red Sox have big injuries, too, with Will Middlebrooks out at third base. Shane Victorino still out of the lineup in that outfield. And for the Sox, I think that Jackie Bradley Jr. has been a pleasant surprise for them. I expect to see a lot of him this weekend. So, as I said, it's a mixed bag this weekend as the Sox and Yanks get together. I think that each team will win two games. But for you guys out there, as you look at this series and try to preview it, what are your thoughts on the Sox and Yanks as they get together for the first time this weekend? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red. Check out my blog at BosoxInjection.com and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at This Week in Red.